हाई एवरी वन एस ए राइटिंग यू पी एस सी में पिछले दो तीन सालों में बहुत ज्यादा चेंज हो चुका है बट विद दिस चेंज वी आर नॉट एबल टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द वे वी टीच एंड द वे वी स्टडी एस ए राइटिंग फॉर मेन्स आई रिसर्च द लिटल एंड आई ट्राई टू फाइंड वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस चेंज एंड हाउ कैन बी प्रो एक्टिवली कोप अप विद वट यू पी एस सी इज डूइंग विद एस ए राइटिंग इन यू पी एस सी मेन्स एंड आई फाउंड दिस देर इज एन एग्जाम इन चाइना कॉल्ड एज गाओ काओ आपको यहाँ पे दिख रहा होगा इट्स रिटन हेयर गाओ काओ नाउ दिस इज एन एग्जामिनेशन विच क्वालिफाइज स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एंटरिंग इन टू वेरियस कॉलेजेस सो इट्स अ वेरी एलिमेंट्री लेवल एग्जामिनेशन विच इज हेल्ड फॉर स्टूडेंट्स इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ एटीन नाइनटीन सेवनटीन प्रॉबेबली हाउवर you will be surprised to see the level of questions that are being asked in this examination and i am very certain that upsc took a leaf out of china's examination system understood the reasons behind why china is asking these kind of questions from students and then it has implemented the same or tried to learn something from that examination and implement it in its own examination to make it more comprehensive more analytical in approach and at the same time try to understand how a student actually thinks not what he knows but what he actually thinks please mark these two words it's very very important that's the differentiation that upsc civil services is trying to make between students it's not only checking your knowledge the knowledge is being checked through various other subjects like gs as well as optionals but in essay writing they are running behind how you think in a normal or general scenario you will get some inspiration if you google gao kao and try to find some questions today i will prove to you we will go through it together i will take some examples of the questions that have been asked in these in gao kao examination the past 10 12 years that's how old questions we are going to pick up and see how upsc's essay writing questions are in complete alignment with the kind of questions that are being asked or have been asked in gao kao examination so let's move ahead try and see the kind of questions that have been asked in this examination for the past 10 12 years a lot of stuff is written about this i will also share the link of this page that i found online wherein 30 questions are available from gaokao examination now this first question is on relationships the question is very long this is the entire question and then you have to write an article based upon this statement or based upon this information that has been given to you it looks a little different than how essay writing is done in civil services exam but it's very similar because of the way the kind of question that have been that has been asked now by upsc and the orientation of the examiner they are very similar let's go through the question and understand it the question says during your time in high school there must be something you cannot forget be it a heated argument with your classmates or the inspiration from others so they're completely opposite in orientation in direction sometimes with some people you have heated arguments and with other people you take inspiration or you teach them something so these are two complete opposites uh, about the kind of people that you encounter in your life okay that is what the statement is saying some agency has carried out a research on the relationships between classmates in schools the result shows that 60% of the students find the relationships i think it should be content while 30% consider it as okay and 4% think that the relationship is unsatisfied the reason of the intense relation can be over self awareness personality and clashes personality clashes or competition so some reasoning is also given here why there are probably clashes in personalities or intense relationships between people especially in their budding years when they are in high school or they're still growing they're in their youth 
another 72 percent are quite confident about creating a harmonious atmosphere which means majority of the students are having a harmonious and a good relationship even though they might have some sour incidents they are very confident about the fact that they can develop good friendships in their school time which will last over a lifetime choose your own angle and style to write an article with the given material do not digress from the material material se digress nahi karna hai ab ye to ek type ka ho gaya hum thoda sa digress karke we'll try and go deeper into the orientation of the examiner and the expectation of the examiner basically the examiner is talking about relationships he said in the starting that the relationships might have a good ending or a good process where you learn from each other so relationships can be inspirational to you and also to the other person or on the other hand in uh, the relationships can involve arguments and these arguments might turn your relationship sour instead of keeping them good keeping them healthy to maine jo division kiya wo ye kiya ki broadly i will talk about these two different kinds of relationships ya to aapki relationship mein argumentation hoga ya fir aapki relationship mein inspiration and learning hogi there will of course be overlaps there are some relationship jisme argument hota hai but inspiration and learning bhi hoti hai okay but it, when i say argument then i then i'm assuming and i'm talking about negative argumentation and not a constructive discussion and argumentation i'm talking about heated arguments between two or more people to ye ek do major type ke relationships nikal jate hain as soon as we start talking with new people okay dono ke hi teachings alag alag type ke honge it's not always true that a relationship where you have a destructive argumentation a relationship where you uh, quarrel with each other is always bad there are always good sides to such a relationship as well it also teaches you something and at the same time relationships which inspire you where you learn and where you teach and the other person also learns from you there is a quid pro quo between you two in that relationship also you learn something and you teach something so what are the learnings that you get from these kinds of relationships uske basis pe maine pura iste create kar diya because that is the core theme because the examiner here is talking about good relationships as well as bad relationships by saying that uh, you know 60% have good relationships 36% consider it okay they're not too concerned and 4% are dissatisfied with their relationship 72% are very confident that they will have a harmonious atmosphere in the relationship so alag alag types ki hum baat kar rahe hain how some relationships are good and some relationships turn bad for you तो इसमें क्या क्या आपको सिखा रही है वॉट एवरी काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज टीचिंग यू बाई क्लासिफाइंग इट इन दीज टू ब्रॉड टाइप्स उसके ऊपर मैंने डिस्कशन किया है विच इज वेरी मच इन लाइन विद वॉट इज बींग मैं बिकॉज यहां पे बताया है कि क्या क्या टाइप्स की रिलेशनशिप्स हो जाती हैं सबसे पहले अ रिलेशनशिप टीचेज यू कॉन्फिडेंस और गिव्स यू कॉन्फिडेंस अबाउट योर सेल्फ हाउ डज इट गिव यू कॉन्फिडेंस बिकॉज वेन यू आर्ग्यू विद सम when you put your stand forward when you state your argument and stick with it even though the other person might be very headstrong about winning his argument or her argument that automatically gives you confidence that automatically lets you know that you can speak yourself out and be heard out there okay so it gives you confidence iske upar hum ek paragraph likh sakte hain we can talk about this how a relationship even though it might have arguments and bad arguments it still gives you confidence about yourself about your own worth and your own beliefs second enriching your points of view and your beliefs so when you are talking with someone discussing with someone automatically there will be some points where in your beliefs might be turned false some points where he or she will accept your beliefs and even enrich them add on something deeper to your beliefs so in the process we end up enriching our own beliefs as well so it's a process where your points of view your belief systems get enriched by your relationships with others if you are not communicating with someone even though it might be 
end up in argumentation, you are not improving your own beliefs, you are just stuck with the status quo. That is how any kind of relationship enriches you. Number three, challenge to your views. It not only enriches your views, it also challenges your views. And this challenge also ends up either you changing the view, you accepting another view, you rejecting your view and having no view at all. It might result in anything. But at the end, it just challenges your view and thus strikes you a little, it shakes you a little so that you understand that what I have always thought might be incorrect, right? So, is se, how it change challenges your views. That is how relationships contribute towards your own growth as well as self-awareness. So, these are all journeys towards self-awareness. Number four, inspiration from others. Through inspirational relationships, with others, you also start learning from them and you get inspired by them. And that is how you are also able to grow. That is how a relationship that is inspirational teaches you or takes you forward. Learning new things from others. So not only inspiration, but you might also end up learning new things from others. A lot of young people have older friends. Why? Because they want to learn. And why do the older people have young friends? Because they want to teach. They've already had that wisdom. They want to pass it on. So that is where learning, inspiration and teaching, all of these combine together. Ability to make and break bonds. This is very important. Now, emotional intelligence ka ek bahut bada part hota hai. How do you deal with people? How do you understand their emotions? How do you put forward your own emotions? This is where emotional intelligence comes in. When you actually deal with relationships with people, create relationship, end up breaking a lot of relationships. You create bonds and break bonds. Through that process, you learn about emotional intelligence. You try and realize the importance of the other person's emotions and also your own emotions. Where if you feel that you're, somebody else is taking advantage of you, you're not shy of letting him or her do it. So that is also an important part of emotional intelligence. So the ability to make and break bonds, which is an integral part of relationships, whether they are argumentative or inspirational, teaches you emotional intelligence as well. Value to people and views around you. Now, this is also another way in which relationships, which involve argumentation, inspiration, learning, etc. You learn to value others' emotions, feelings and views. You also learn to value your own emotions, feelings and views. So, these are the different ways in which relationships can teach you and can help you grow. This is what the paragraph was also talking about in brief and we've expanded it by talking about relationships, the meaning of relationships, their importance in our lives, how do they contribute to our development regularly. This is all there is to first question but it's a very deep question. Now, this question was asked in 2013 National Gaokao. So, you can just imagine we are living in 2023, 10 years back this kind of question was asked or UPSC ne aise hi questions ke through apne questions khud ke banane shuru kiye where they started asking more philosophical questions which demand a deeper understanding from you, which demand a more growth mindset from you, okay. Ek aur question utha lete hain jo poochha gaya tha. Now this was again asked in 2013 in Beijing, Gaokao. The question is, the conversation between two scientists, this is the question, conversation between two scientists, how would Thomas Elva Edison react to the mobile phone if he came to the 21st century? No less than 800 words, choose your own title. So it's a different way of asking a question. They're not giving you an essay directly. They're just giving you a smaller or a longer paragraph. And then they ask you to write something based upon that paragraph. They give you more information. I think this is even better way of asking a question. It's more in-depth, is more vague, but at the same time, it checks a person's analytical understanding about a topic. But UPSC certainly has got inspiration from this kind of examination in order to take its own examination and level up. And they've started with essay writing. 
ओके अब इस क्वेश्चन की बात कर लेते हैं दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द काइंड ऑफ एसए क्वेश्चन दैट हैव बीन आस्ड नाउ बाय यूपीएससी दे आर मोर वेग दे आर मोर फिलोसॉफिकल इन नेचर दे कैन हैव मल्टीपल मल्टीपल इंटरप्रिटेशंस मल्टीपल व्यूज मल्टीपल राइट अप्स बाय डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ देम माइट बी राइट नन ऑफ देम माइट बी रॉन्ग इसमें एग्जैक्टली exactly बात क्या हो रही है ओके okay. इसमें डिस्कशन हमसे वो चाह रहा है अबाउट थॉमस एडिसन अगर वो आज जिंदा होते और ही वुड हैव कम बैक एंड ही वुड हैव सीन द मोबाइल फोन व्हाट वुड व्हाट वुड हिज रिएक्शन बी उनका रिएक्शन पॉजिटिव हो सकता है नेगेटिव भी हो सकता है वेरी सिंपल दिस इज समथिंग विद डू वी डू विद ऑल दी यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विस क्वेश्चन पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव साइड दोनों दिखा देते हैं हेयर ऑल्सो If he was to come back and see a mobile phone in every person's hand, how would he react? What would he? What would his emotions be like? Number one, he would be proud of the improvements to his version of the telephones. He was not the inventor of telephones, but he made a lot of improvements in telephones, made them usable, made them commercial. So he would be proud on how telephones now have been. Uh, made usable by the entire world not only by the elites or by limited class of people and at the same time he might be disappointed this is what i thought that we should be writing we should be writing about how he would be proud and at the same time there might be some disappointments that he might feel but i could not find any strong argument as to why and how could he be disappointed because his company ge was all about taking the existing inventions to the next level making them better making them usable and that is what the mobile phone has done if we were to know about the core philosophy of thomas edison then we could have talked about the disappointments as well so this is what the examiner expects from you the examiner demands and needs that you understand the core philosophy of Thomas Edison in this case, so that you can write about how he would have reacted to the phone. He doesn't want information. He doesn't want to know about UPI. Doesn't want to know about the fact that you can record. You can use camera in the phone. You have everything literally. You can read on the phone. You can. There are no uh, buttons. Everything is touch. He doesn't care about all those things. The examiner is not looking for information. The examiner is looking for idea, for. an in depth understanding of how thomas edison would have thought about this invention or this improvement in the mobile phone industry he would have been proud for some reasons as well as disappointed for some other reasons that is what we can talk about in this question that's how deep this question is and this is what upsc is also doing it's asking such deep questions only i love this third question kafi interesting tha ye एक थर्ड और फोर्थ दो और उठा लेते हैं एंड देन विल फिनिश ऑफ विद दिस सेशन तो आपको काफी अच्छा आइडिया लग जाएगा कि किस तरह के क्वेश्चंस यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विसेज ऐसे एग्जाम से भी उठाने की कोशिश करता है टू ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट कैन मेक द एग्जाम मोर एनालिटिकल एंड लेस ऑफ रोड लर्निंग वी शुड ऑल बी थैंकफुल दैट एस राइटिंग इज नाउ गॉन टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल बिकॉज इफ यू आर एबल टू स्टडी हार्ड इफ यू आर एबल टू analyze things when you are reading them automatically you will be able to reach to this level also so agar ratne wale nahi ho student to you should appreciate this third question pe aate hain iske sath we have to write a composition on donation and then a paragraph is given jiske basis pe hame donation ke bare mein likhna hai the paragraph says a person became a billionaire from scratch ye bahut important hai self made man hai yahan pe ye clearly dikh diye likh diya hai he was a generous and he was generous and has devoted himself to charity he then knew that there were three poor families that lived very hard lives he felt sympathy for the families and decided to donate for them one family was very grateful and accepted his donation another family hesitated but accepted at last and declared that they would pay him back the last family thanked him for his generosity but declined as they thought it was an यहां पे एग्जैक्टली exactly बात क्या हो रही है दो लोगों के बारे में बात हो रही है वन इज द गिवर ऑफ डोनेशन दैट इज द डोनेटिंग पार्टी एंड द सेकंड वन इज द एक्सेप्टिंग पार्टी 
दोनों के बारे में बात हो रही है दोनों के व्यूज दोनों के आइडियाज दोनों के बिलीव्स उनके ऊपर ये डिस्कशन हुआ है छोटा सा छोटे से पैराग्राफ में तो सबसे पहले आप इसमें अगर हमें एक कॉम्पोजिशन लिखना है डोनेशन के ऊपर सबसे पहले डोनेशन को डिफाइन करेंगे डोनेशन क्या होता है कैसे होता है कोई क्यों करता है एंड देन वील टॉक अबाउट द पर्पस ऑफ डोनेशन फॉर बोथ द गिवर एज वेल एज द टेकर जो गिवर है वो डोनेशन देते हुए क्या सोच रहा है वट ही और शी इज थिंकिंग वाइल डोनेटिंग एंड द एक्सेप्टर ऑफ डोनेशन वट ही और शी इज थिंकिंग वाइल एक्सेप्टिंग अ डोनेशन ये मुझे लगता है कोर है इस पूरे पैराग्राफ का वी हैव टू राइट अ कॉम्पोजिशन ऑन डोनेशन क्लियरली लिखा है दैट मीन्स दी एंटायर कॉम्पोजिशन इज गोइंग टू रोटेट अराउंड डोनेशन ओनली डोनेशन में दो पार्टीज हैं आई एम रिपीटिंग इट अगेन डोनेशन में दो पार्टीज हैं गिवर of donation or donating party and then the acceptor of donation what is the purpose behind donating for the donating party and what is the thought process behind the acceptor of donation once he is accepting it wo dono ke bare mein hum baat kar sakte hain when the donation donator is donating money what is the purpose one of the purpose is to enable the future generation just like he was he or she was enabled when he was nobody so we don't know ki wo scratch se bana hai to wo kis tarah se bana hai but we can assume that some people must have contributed towards his success in some or the other way so by giving donation he is enabling the future generation to reach at the same level that he is today he is creating or he is becoming an enabler for the future generation realizing कि जब वो सक्सेसफुल हुआ था तो उसमें भी कुछ लोगों का हाथ था तो इनेबलर ऑफ अ फ्यूचर फॉर अदर्स हु माइट नॉट हैव अ फ्यूचर विदाउट हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज व्हाट इज द आइडिया बिहाइंड डोनेटिंग मनी सेकंड इज अ वे टू गिव बैक टू द सोसाइटी बिकॉज यू यूज रिसोर्सेज फॉर योर सक्सेस सो दिस इज अ वेरी ईजी आर्ग्यूमेंट कि आपने सोसाइटी के रिसोर्सेज यूज करे हैं वेदर इट्स ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज कैपिटल रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज कुछ भी so it's a way of giving back to the society so that the future generation can also keep growing third is continuous and sustainable empowerment of society and people so sustainable not sustainable growth or development empowerment an empowerment process that does not stop because jab tak aap paisa nahi doge samne wale ko his ability to experiment and to grow will stay limited because everything revolves around money if the other person wants books he would need money if the other person wants to observe people he would have to travel to, to be able to see different cultures he would need money har cheez ke liye if a person wants to eat he would need money nutrition he would need money so donation acts as a method of creating an environment where sustainable empowerment of the people can happen so that they can grow so that they can also become donating parties tomorrow okay that might also be a purpose behind donating money self satisfaction giving is as important as taking so when a person realizes that giving is as important as taking because when you give automatically your energy to take your energy to grow your energy to develop personally as well also increases अगर मैं जो आज पढ़ रहा हूं आप लोगों को नहीं पढ़ाऊंगा माय एनर्जी टू स्टडी विल आल्सो डाई डाउन आफ्टर अ वाइल होता है कि नहीं होती अब यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंस के साथ सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम क्या होती है पढ़ते रहते हैं पढ़ते रहते हैं बट दे डोंट लेट इट आउट दे डोंट डिस्कस इट विद अर्स वो भी एक इंपॉर्टेंट है पार्ट जरूरी नहीं है उसमें दो घंटे दिन में तीन घंटे लगा रहे हो बट स्पेंडिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी थर्टी मिनट्स ऑन दैट इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल बिकॉज दैट हेल्प यू get confidence and also helps you understand where do you stand in reality so it's a reality check plus it's a way through which you are giving what you have learned that empties your bucket so that you can fill it up again it's like that aapne gadha bhara hai pani se usko aapne kisi ko jab tak pilaoge nahi tab tak wo fir se kaise bharoge aur wo agar pani rakhe rakhoge kisi ko pilaoge nahi ki khatam ho jayega to pani sad jayega it's just like that so giving is an important part of uh getting not taking i would say getting because it gives you that satisfaction that you need 
तो इस तरह से हम आर्ग्यूमेंट्स क्रिएट कर सकते हैं अराउंड द फिलोसफी ऑफ अ डोनेटर और अ डोनेटिंग पार्टी एंड सिमिलरली वी कुड ऑल्सो क्रिएट सम आर्ग्यूमेंट अराउंड द एक्सेप्टिंग पार्टी कि उसके दिमाग में क्या चल रहा है वॉट आर द बिलीव एंड व्यूज द पर्सन माइट एक्सेप्ट द पर्सन माइट एक्सेप्ट टेकिंग इट एज अ डेट एंड नॉट एज अ डोनेशन और द पर्सन माइट रिजेक्ट तो उसके बिलीव सिस्टम्स क्या हो सकते हैं उसके पीछे वॉट इज राइट एंड वॉट इज रॉन्ग वी कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट इज वेल सो दिस वॉज अ थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच वॉज अगेन वेरी डीप ये फोर्थ वाला भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग था दिस इज द लास्ट मन दैट वी टू पिकअप टूडे इसमें है जॉर्ज बर्नाड शॉ की एक लाइन डाली हुई है एंड दिस अगेन इज आस्ट इन ट्वेंटी थर्टीन एन हुई गाओ काओ में पूछा गया था ये क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सम मेन सी थिंग्स एज दे आर एंड से वाई सो कुछ लोग जो हैं जो चीजें जैसी हैं उनको क्वेश्चन करते हैं सो दे आर क्वेश्चनिंग थिंग्स बाई सेंग वाई डू दे एग्जिस्ट और वाई आर दे एज दे आर दिज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद दिस आई ड्रीम थिंग्स दैट नेवर वर्क एंड से वाई नॉट सो दिस इज दी आइडिया ऑफ अ फिलोसफर दिस इज द आइडिया ऑफ अर इन्वेंटर हु इज एबल टू सी थिंग्स दैट डोंट एग्जिस्ट येट एंड नाउ ही इज सेंग वाई नॉट दिस जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल चाय कभी इन्वेंट हुई होगी या डिस्कवर की होगी किसी ने उससे पहले लोग शायद खाली दूध ही पिया करते होंगे एंड देन समबडी वुड हैव थॉट कि यार इसमें हम कुछ मसाला डालते हैं कुछ मिक्स करते हैं सो दैट आई कैन मेक इट बेटर इसका स्वाद बढ़ा सकता हूँ मैं एंड देन प्रॉब्ली टी वुड हैव बीन डिस्कवर्ड और ग्रोन सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट एन इन्वेंटर थिंग्स लाइक थिंग्स दैट डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट येट उनको एग्जिस्टेंस में लाना वाई नॉट डू दिस वाई नॉट डू समथिंग न्यू दीज आर द टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ माइंड सेट्स दैट जॉर्ज बर्नाट शॉ इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इन दिस लाइन इन दिस स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू राइट एन एस्टे ऑन हाउ यू थिंक ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑफ बर्नाट शॉ अब इसमें गलती क्या करेंगे दिस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू हाउ यू पी एस सी आस्क इट क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स राइटर्स सोचेंगे कि ये गलत है and they would write in that way only because it's written in such a way because it says i dream things that never were so hum log sochenge ye sahi hai aur ye galat hai but these two are different yet both of them are important because questioning the status quo is as important as focusing on inventing new things and thinking about the future questioning is what journalists do and they are the fourth pillar in every society not even if it is not a democracy a healthy journalism a journalistic uh, attitude is so important to the survival of that country so questioning is as important as inventing new things okay so yahan par we will talk about how these new these two different mindsets are equally important ek ek karke dono ke bare mein baat kar sakte hain for example inventor jo hai how is he important because he thinks positive and he or she is hopeful about the future and that positivity and hopefulness ultimately results in creating a generation of new things so he is futuristic in his mindset he is not stuck in the past that's a good thing that's a contribution that the second person is making to the world he is invention oriented he is always focused on creating new things out of nothing that's his contribution we can give examples of again thomas edison and various other let's say uh, einstein how they came out with new inventions new theories which are still helping us as scientists how questioning is important that is also to be talked about let's write it as again one how questioning is important the first person's thought process instead of uh, questioning what is wrong if we keep focusing upon things that don't exist yet we might not be able to improve upon things that exist so questioning the art or the mindset of questioning helps upon improving things that exist things that are wrong things that are not so good things that are evil so improvement and changing the status quo that is also an important aspect of any society that is where questioning comes into play okay the last one questioning the status quo is the starting point of invention when you question the status quo only then you can invent because then only you know what is wrong and what is imperfect 
when you found out the imperfect only then can you move towards the perfect right therefore both these mindsets are equally important and both these mindsets have different purposes they also integrate and come together at various points and one of which is the starting point to invention is questioning the status quo when you ask the question why only then can you ask the question why not can you move towards the other question that is why not so these are some of the questions that were asked in uh, uh, gaokao examination and i believe that if you are able to understand the reasoning behind this examination you will also be able to appreciate how upsc is changing its approach towards essay writing this change in approach might also percolate towards other uh, subjects like gs4 gs3 we don't know how it will evolve but appreciating the present level of english descriptive that is very important essay writing so essay writing ki jo approach mein change hai that is here to stay and i believe it's a very good change and we should be able to appreciate this change and learn the new way of writing essay so that we can improve our own writing as well and be able to score well in this examination sahi tarike se approach ko pakdoge it will be easy for you to understand and improve yourself aur is level pe aane mein zyada samay nahi lagega okay if you have any questions you can ask from in the comment section below meri website pe bhi ja sakte ho wahan se mere counselor se baat kar sakte ho they can get you in touch with me as well if you have any questions i will keep coming out with such videos for essay writing and answer writing regularly so if you like the video do not forget to subscribe to the channel that will give me a pump up and boost up that okay the students are watching it and they feel that there is some kind of value addition that i'm doing that is the ultimate objective of these sessions i'll see you again very soon till then take care bye bye jai hind